So how to solve this kind of question? This kind of equation, we want to solve for n. We want to make a pattern. So if the pattern on the left-hand side is the same as the pattern on the right-hand side, we can make a conclusion. So in this case, let's do this. Let's multiply both sides by one over nine m. Why I want to do that? Because this side have raised by m, the other side have raised by nine. So I want to multiply by because because it's the equation, I can perform the same operation on both sides simultaneously. So doing so, I have three raised by m times one over nine m. Well, m is m over one, right? Then we see those two, this have m over m become. So let me write it one more time. I can write as m, three raised by m over m raised by one over nine. Then of course, this something divided itself becomes one. So that's a three raised by one over nine. Right? Now I have numbers on one side. The other side, I want to leave only one variable. So the other side I have equals the m raised by nine times one over nine m. So same reason. I can write this as m raised by nine over nine times one over m. Again, nine over nine is just one. Something divides itself becomes one. So this becomes m raised by one over m. Okay, getting very close, the pattern, right? The right hand side, I have m raised by one over m. If the left hand side, I have three raised by one over three, then I'll be done. But this is three raised by one over nine. So what do I do is I'm going to multiply by one raised one over nine, because this one is a three over three. Okay. Why I want to do this? Because I have three raised by three raised by 27 now. 3 raised by 27, I can think as 3 multiplied by 1 over 27. Then 3 raised by 3 is 27. So it's 27 raised by 1 over 27. Now it's a bingo, right? I have the same pattern on both sides. So that's to say m equals to 27. Yeah, just match up with the patterns.